It's time for our first match of the night, guys, and it looks like we have quite the contest coming up. And good luck to those who have to follow this one. You're going to need it. Guys, we're getting the night started with an amazing matchup here. You're absolutely right, Cole. In fact, I don't think there's a better way to start this night than with this match right here. of 387 pounds, Dan and the Scorpion. Dan, the Scorpion, and their opponents. At a combined weight of 514 pounds, they are the Tag Team Champions, James and Gordon. Don't even think about going anywhere. I'll tell you what, Michael, I'm not gonna lie. These two make an awesome tag team. I cannot wait for this match. Both legal men are in the ring and set to start things off here. We're ready to go. And I can't help but get the feeling that this is going to be one of those matches people will be talking about for a long time to come. Devastating elbow. Vertical suplex. Nice. Call me crazy, but this might be one of those rare instances where the champion actually enters the match as the underdog. I know it sounds odd, but it really seems like the champ is up against a headwind here. Ooh! You gotta believe this one's over! Targeting the back on that one. You're not crazy, Byron. The champ certainly has an uphill battle here. And while it's rare, we have seen the challenger head into the match as the heavy favorite. Bruno San Martino challenging Stan Stasiak in 1973 immediately comes to mind, as does Decent squaring off against Bob Backlund in 1994. Wait, did you really just say that Saxton is not crazy, Cole? Man, just when I started to think you might be alright, you go and say something ridiculous like that. Oh, 
my. We've seen champions head into matches maybe a little too confident, only to be picked off in the end. And guys, I can't help but wonder if we're going to see that again here tonight. Knee drop. That was nasty. So precise. Speaking of champions heading into matches a bit overconfident, one of the most glaring examples of that would have to be the Honky Talk Man's attitude heading into his Intercontinental Championship defense at SummerSlam 1988. We all know what happened to him on that night. <laughs> you are so right, Michael. That was great, of course, though. It wasn't so great for the Honky Talk Man, who ended up losing his championship to the Ultimate Warrior in fewer than 30 seconds. Guys, these superstars really do appear to be in peak physical condition here tonight, which isn't surprising considering what's on the line here in this championship match. Uh-oh. Oh, boy, he is rolling. This just ain't going to do it. escapes the submission and good thing that could have been disastrous i gotta agree with you michael these superstars are in tremendous shape and from what i understand the champ has been hitting the gym twice daily in preparation for tonight i heard the same thing saxton once in the morning then again at night after the show which makes me wonder when the champ actually sleeps Ugh. if at all oh boy he is rolling going for the big one Perfectly executed, guys. You guys see that distance? Beautiful technique. He's really looking to prove a point here. And that was only a one. Nah, not yet. Too early. The champ starting to falter a bit. His championship reign may very well be holding on by a thread. If you told me heading into this match that he was going to absorb so much punishment, I would have called you a liar. Uh-oh, uh looking for the, the Achilles lock. I think this is the beginning of the end, Michael. What's going to happen here? Just breaking down the opponent. Vicious strike. Knocked off his feet. Now that's a takedown. Oh, what a snap mare. Oh, perfectly executed. Oh, boy, he is rolling. Nailed it. Game, set, match. This one is over. Assault on the lower back. Goodness, this hurts. Oh! Oof! Cross the shoulders. Thunderous slam. That has got. We've got a cover. He might have it. Shining oh. wizard! That might have done it, Cole. Shoulders down. Championship on the line. He gets it with a reversal. The tag team seen here in WWE is under... There it is. The tag has been made. Oh, he needed that in the worst way, Michael. Cross the shoulders. Man, what a slam. He's in control now. And here's a cover. 
Gets the shoulder up before three. He's going to take more than that. Not uh -oh. the arm. Oh, my goodness. Crushing it. In off the tag. Oh, and Enziguri. The challenger not in a great place. The challenger is starting to feel the pressure of this high-profile championship match. I can tell you guys that this arena, he's looking at it. But he's got to capitalize now. We got to cover. He gets the shoulder up before three. And the match continues. No, he reverses it. Sharp knee. The end may be near. Tag team championship at stake. Which team wants it more? He looks for it. You gotta believe this one's over. We might be looking at a new champ here. Let's take another look at that. Michael, that was amazing. Takes him down in a major way, too. His shoulders are down. And he got a near fall out of it. Wow, what's it going to take? Oh, boy, he is rolling. Boom! <laughs> Here he goes. Luke does press. That's how you put an exclamation point up. Quickly into the cover with the title on the line. There is. Champion. They did it. They won the match. Whenever tag team is on the docket, the mayhem multiplies. Here's the proof. Highlight for one superstar, low light for another. Man, oh man, look at that. He ain't messing around. And last but not least... Talk about having to dig down deep to pick up the win. Few things are more rewarding than that feeling of keeping your opponent's shoulders down for the three count. Believe it or not, that's just the beginning, folks. Stay tuned for more great action.